Okay, the first method is the square root method. So let's look at this question that I showed you a few minutes ago. Step number one is to isolate this term, get it by itself. So we will take 32 to the other side and have it cross the border. And of course the border guard is then going to change its sign. So we'll have 2n squared here and 32 over there. The next step is to isolate the power. So the power is being multiplied by 2. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'll divide both sides by 2. That cancels that. I'm left with n squared equals 16. And the last step. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So if I take the square root of this side, I get n. Therefore, I should take the square root of this side and I get plus 4 or negative 4. Okay, you get two answers because negative 4 times negative 4 is also 16. Okay, okay let's look at this second example here. First thing I do again is I get rid of the sets by taking it across the border and that isolates the term with the power in it. That will give me 5 at squared the 19 hasn't crossed the border, but the 6 has, so it becomes plus 6. This simplifies now to 5 squared equals 25. Now I want to get the power by itself. It's been multiplied by 5, so I'll divide both sides by 5. When I do that, the 5's cancel, and I'm left with x squared equals 5. Now I should take the square root of this side and the square root of that side in order to get my answer. The opposite of squaring is square rooting, so I get x here, and I get the square root of 5, or the negative of the square root of 5. Okay. Now we usually write it this way, plus or minus the square root of 5. So that gives us our def two different answers there. Okay, so that's an example of solving by a square root method. It's used only if there's no term that has an x in it. Okay, here is another example. This time we have x squareds on the right and x squareds on the left. So I'm going to bring the 8 x squared across and the plus 5 across. On the left hand side I'll have 13x squared minus 8x squared. On the right hand side I'll have the plus 3 because it hasn't changed the side and a minus a 5. Now we can simplify. There I have isolated and got down to one term. On the right hand side I have another term. The opposite of multiplying by 5 is dividing by 5. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. These cancel. And I get that as my, my next answer. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take the square root of this side and the square root of that side. This would normally work out. I would end up with x equals whatever that square root is. But in this case I'm taking the square root of a negative number. Okay. So, if I have it as a decimal, it looks like that, and this is a no-no. So, in this particular question, here is an example where x equals no answer. You cannot take the square root of a negative number. Okay. Just remember, this is the square root of a negative number, where up here we had the negative of the square root of 5. That's two different things. Okay?